In this video, we will make this animation using geometry nodes. Also, I'll show you how you can quickly load in any text to inherit the same animation in a completely procedural way. Open up Blender, change the bottom window to Geometry Node Editor. Select the cube and click New to assign a new Geometry Node modifier to the object. Add a curved circle to start with. First, I'll show you how this works in a simple curve. Later, we'll use the text. Add a Trim Curve node, which does exactly what it says. It trims the start and end points of a curve. Nothing changes if we try to modify the start and end values now. That's because the circle is a closed curve, which means it does not have any start and end points. So we need to add a set spline cyclic node and uncheck the cyclic box, which disconnects the first and last index points. See, now it's working fine. If you think the spacing is too much, you can change the resolution to a higher value. I'm going to fix it 100 for now. Let's make this circle a tubular one by converting it to mesh with a profile curved circle. Change the radius to something like 4 cm. Now we need to add two spheres at the endpoints on the same curve. Add an instance on points node and connect a UV sphere as an instance. Join them both. You can see the instances are all over the curve. We can limit it to only the endpoints by using the endpoint selection node as selection. Scale it down. And it's updating with the trim values. Now, let's drive the animation using a scene time node. Add a math fraction node to make it loop. Add a math multiply node to control the speed. Before plugging this node group to a text, I'll quickly assign two different materials on both sides using set material node and selecting the corresponding material. Let's replace the curve with a string to curve node. Enter any text. Just like that, we can make this animation to any curve or text, but we have some issues when it comes to using text. One is that the last segment is missing from all the letters, and there are some weird pinching issues around sharp corners. Both can be fixed by using a resample curve and having enough divisions. I'm giving it a count of 200. Now it's looking way better. Change the text and see it gets update in real time. I'll show you something interesting before we move on to the next part. Let's add a float curve node in between to control the animation. You can consider this a visual representation of the flow. Suppose we want to add a pause at the end, just move the endpoint a little. We can go wild with this graph to produce different types of results. The only problem we have here is the text is a bordered one. That's not the kind we always use. To make something like the one in the intro, which is a single line text, we need to make it outside geo nodes and plug it into this as a curve, which is a semi-procedural method. Let's do that. Hide the current mesh, add a text object. Go to edit mode and enter something. Convert it to mesh. Now we can manually edit this text to make it a single stroke. To make it easier to clean up, first, I'm going to do a planar dissolve to get rid of extra geometry and delete the second stroke from each letter like this. You can go created with this. After completion, convert this to a curve, then replace the curve with the text node in the node set. Let's play with the start value in the trim curve node, add a similar float curve, and adjust both curves so that the end value comes after the start value with some delay to make it disappear at the other end. Just like that, we have this cool animation. I did modify the materials and added a skeleton by just duplicating the text and giving it a profile curve. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for more geometry nodes and other Blender tutorials.